Hello everyone. In this very short tutorial, I am going to describe you about the MAT files. So if you are familiar with the MATLAB environment, then you may know that the workspace is not maintained across the different sessions of MATLAB. When you quit MATLAB, the workspace clears. However, you can save any or all of the variables in the current workspace to a MAT files. So basically MAT files are the binary MATLAB files that stores workspace variables. You can reuse the workspace variable later during the current MATLAB session by just loading the saved workspace variables. So I will save some data to the variables then I will save these to a MAT file and uh, after that I will try to load these MAT files in the MATLAB environment after clearing the workspace. So let's say I have a variable and in the variable A I will store some random numbers and for this I will uh, insert a number that is 6 so it will generate a matrix of 6 cross 6 and I want to show this matrix so I will choose this and you can and you can see that you know, a variable with the name A is saved in the workspace. Uh, similarly, I will uh, I will create a variable B and I will save uh, a matrix of magic three in this variable and I don't want to show this one. Uh, if I don't want to show this one, uh, it will not affect in storing into the workspace. When I hit the enter, it will save into the workspace. But if I close this uh, MATLAB session, these two variables will be gone. So in order to save these two variables into a MAT file, so let's say I will use the save command. So I will write save and then the file name, let's say I will choose tutorial and then I will enter the extension that is MAT. So I enter dot MAT. And after that, I want to save both these two variables. So I enter A and then B. So when I enter this one, it will save a tutorial.mat having these two variables into my current folder. So as you can see that if I uh, if I point this one into my current folder, you can clearly see that that I have a tutorial.mat file in my front folder. So after that I will uh, clear all the variables in my workspace. So in order to show that these uh, variables stored into the tutorial.mat file and for this I am going to load these two variables by loading load tutorial.mat. This will load the tutorial.mat files and it will contain all the variables in it. So as you can see that A and B variable uh, appeared in the workspace. I will clear again in order to show that if I want a single variable to, to load in the workspace. Uh, so I will use the load command and uh, I will enter the braces and after that I will use the code signs and write tutorial that is my file name and I will enter mat and after that I will uh, enter in the second argument I will enter b. So when I load the variable b will appear in the workspace. So I want to change this variable and for this I will uh, let's say I will replace this magic matrix of 3 by magic matrix of 4. So I will choose B is equal to magic of 4. So this is 4. I will write this one. Sorry. So this one. When I hit enter, the B variable changed to 4 by 4 matrix. So I want to save uh, the changed variable into the same mat file. So for this, I will use the save command. And for this, I will use the braces and the structure I will describe in the uh, load command. So tutorial dot mat and after that, I will write the hyphen and write up 
append. This will replace the variable stored earlier with the same variable name and it will replace the values of this. So in the third argument, I will write B. When I load again, now it will show me uh, the updated variable B. So for this, I will use this one. So after that, I will maybe uh, use the load command to show you. So I have, uh, so I will remove these arguments. So, so this is the B variable in my workspace available. Thank you so much.